wanted to show this to you. Um, the uh, the uh, this is a kind of a time lapse here over the last few hours of our sun. That's uh, pointed basically right at us right now. Well, it's always pointed at us, but nevertheless, uh, this this part of the so I want you to notice this right here, th this massive black spot here. Well, it's more massive than you think. Uh, this is where a lot of the the solar act, the solar wind comes from, and uh, we've had a lot of that approaching uh, the Earth lately. And we had a cor a massive coronal mass ejection. Uh, a few days ago as well that's been hurtling toward the Earth as well. And now we have a G4 magnetic storm uh, with a KP level of 8, which is severe. And uh, we may have an aurora visible over a good portion of the United States, uh, depending on cloud cover, and better with northern extent. In addition to the coronal mass ejection, I want to show you this. This, kind of, this looks kind of in the infrared at, at our sun. Our sun's behind that blue disk thing there. Uh, it's that's put over the top of it so you can see the outer edges of what's coming out of the sun uh, more effectively. You can see those little see the little streamers right there? Now, we had one that was much bigger that came out massively in all directions uh, from that. But what I want you to notice is, is there's, we're still kind of getting these ejections. Now, they may not totally be earthbound, but they are pretty much going seeing over here as well. They're kind of going in all directions as well. So this uh, aurora activity may actually be continuing for a while. Uh, and not just tonight. Uh, we're supposed to peak again. There's the pit picture of the sun. There's the big corona hole right there that we mentioned. Uh, here's the current uh, for, for aurora forecast in the short term. Uh, even over northern Canada, uh, there's a probability that these are going to start being visible very, very soon. And uh, this is, these are the uh, sunspots, and you look at these and like, well, that, that doesn't look like much. These like these little dots right here, one there barely even visible, and these other little dots over here. Keep in mind, each one of these are bigger than Earth. <laughs> so uh, anytime you have these, and this and this is the picture of the sun fa uh, that is that that is facing Earth right now um, as we speak, and uh, as these continue to be, to be faced Earthbound. Uh, we see an increase in the amount of coronal mass ejections. I mean, basically, it's like a belch, to, to try to put it as layman as I can, from the sun's energy, kind of like a big belch or a fart or something of that nature. Uh, of course, on a much more massive scale. And as long as we keep having these sunspots pointed at us and this activity continues, there will be a chance for uh, more geomagnetic storms and an active solar forecast, not only for this evening, but going into the rest of the week as well.